that you have three different species of salmon that come off our river here. We have the chum, we have coho, and we have the chinook salmon. But most of what out is out there is the chum salmon, and that's what you will have been seeing. Right now there's around 25,000 chum salmon in the river. Um, there's about a thousand coho and there's only maybe 50 to 100 chinook. There's not very many chinook. So when you're looking out there, it's the chum salmon that you're mostly seeing. So this one here is a male and there's different things you can look at if you're looking at them to identify whether they're a male or a female. And so when salmon are out in the ocean, they're, the ocean going salmon, you can't tell the difference just by looking at the outside. You would actually have to look on the inside to see the difference. But once they start coming back to spawn, so for a chum salmon, they have a four year life cycle. So they're out at sea for four years and then they come back. So those two salmon come back to the estuary area here. And once they move into an area where you've got a mix of the fresh water coming down the river and the salt water, mixing, that's where they start to make those changes. And so they go from the silvery ocean going fish to this, what you see in front of you here. So the males get these red or purple bars on their sides like this, and they grow a really big hooked jaw. And you can see this one's got some scrapes on the side here and on the top of his head. And even along the side, those are from the teeth of other male salmon. So when they're in the river, they're fighting each other. Um, and uh, in our river here, we have a ratio of about four males and every one female. So there's a lot of competition. You might have seen them, if you've been down at the river watching the salmon, you might have seen them sort of chasing after each other, nosing each other out of the way, maybe biting each other, uh, and that sort of thing. Because there's a lot of competition there. They all want to be uh, making sure that their genetics get passed along to the next generation. So. Um, so that when they come into the fresh water, they start to grow these huge hooked jaws. They get these really sharp teeth and their bodies change here. They also, inside there's a few changes. They stop eating once they come into the fresh water. All, their sole purpose from then on is to reproduce, to spawn. And then the females change in a sort of similar way. They also grow the teeth at sea. You wouldn't, if you were out on a boat in the ocean, you would not see these teeth on the salmon. So the females grow some teeth, but not as sharp. Their jaws don't grow as large. And then the females get a long black bar down their side here. They don't get the purplish coloration here. So there's quite a difference there. And so on your way back to the parking lot, I would encourage you to go down to the river and see if you can have a look at the salmon, see if you can identify the difference between a male and a female. So looking at the outside, of the salmon here. This is a beautiful big salmon, very fresh. You might have noticed some of the salmon in the river have what looks like white growing on them, white fungus. And that's what that is. It's actually, it's like mold. It's fungus growing on their bodies. Once they come into the fresh water, they don't have the ability to protect themselves from fungus and any parasites and that sort of thing. So uh, basically they're starting to decay once they come into the fresh water. But this guy is fairly freshly into the river. And so, if we look at the outside here, there's a whole bunch of different fins. Now, does anybody know what these different fins are called? I see somebody waving their hand way up there. Do you think you know what one of them is? Do you know what this one is? What's that end of the fish? You might know what it is. Yeah? This is the tail, exactly. Good job. Yeah? The back the dorsal fin. The dorsal fin is this one on the back, yes, on the top of the salmon. Yes, so we've got the dorsal fin here. These ones here on either side, yeah, these are the pectoral fins. Then there's little pelvic fins down here. This is the anal fin. This is the tail. And this part by the tail, it kind of looks like a handle. It's nice and for picking up a fish. It's called the caudal peduncle. I think it's a great name. And uh, then we've got the little adipose fin here as well. What's oh, so it's a wild. Sorry? You don't clip your adipose? 
these ones aren't clipped if they're um, from a hatchery. Yes. And that sometimes you'll find salmon that are from a hatchery and they've been tracked, they will be clipped. And sometimes they actually have, will have colored markers on them. But this one is wild stock and the, all of our uh, chum salmon in the river are wild. Our coho and some of the Chinook are hatchery supported, but these ones are natural spawners. So, now what we're going to look at next here is we're going to look at the area, the gills. Now, at any point here, as we go further into exploring the salmon, if anybody starts to feel a little bit funny in their tummy, you're totally welcome to look away. Maybe tell your mom or dad and let them know that you're not feeling so well and you don't want to watch anymore. That's totally fine. For grown-ups, I think you guys can manage. <laughs>